Okay, this is Dead Man's Stump by Isaac Rosenberg, told from Rosenberg's perspective. The plunging lumbers over the shattered track, racketed with their rusty freight, stood out like, like many crowns of thorns, and the rusty stakes like scepters old to stop the flood of brutish men upon our brother's deer. The wheels lurched over sprawled dead, but pained them not. Though their bones crunched, their shut mouths made no moan. They lay there huddled, men and friend and foeman, man born of man and born of woman, and shells go crying over them from night till night and now. This poem given from Rosenberg's perspective he was given the responsibility to take supplies out to the front line, particularly barbed wire. And along this journey, he got to experience the horrors of war. And he starts out in the first stanza using words like racketed, shattered, and plunged to show that this road that he's driving on isn't an ordinary road, but a road filled with horror. And it brings the reality to him. And that's why he wrote this poem. At the end of the first stanza, he makes the line to stay the flood of brutish men upon our brother's deer. Kind of as a satire to show that way too often in war, we try to, sh we try to make the enemy out to be this evil and brutish person, but we completely ignore the barbarity of ourselves and how we're no different than them. The second stanza is one of vision and auditory imagery. You feel what it's like to drive over dead body, dead bodies, but also to hear the bones crunch. And although these men had no effect of that, it's all the more effect on the alive soldier and even the reader as ourselves. In the end, he says that we all lie there, friend and foeman, meaning that in war, whenever you're dead, there's almost there this equality and brotherhood among being there how we're no different whether whichever side that you were fighting for in the battle. And then in the end, he says that the crying shells go over them from night till night and now, meaning that whether you die in war or not, that the battle will go on.